So here's the trick though, no matter how bad I smell or my breath gets, you can't move your right foot because it'll ruin the shot. You know the deal. Oh, You're a professional. Well, that's why I use the red carpet. <laughs> Poor people that, stay on the red carpet. I have to stay in, in case I don't have someone holding it that can move. I'm like, you have to stay with me on the red carpet. So that's... That's part of the, the metric there. And then they end up like this. I've, I've, had, I've, had, I've had people like man on the... Because you know I do man on the street, where yeah, it's like yeah. actually man on the street. Right. And we start asking them hard questions. And you see in some of the shots when we use the tripod, they it's like just drift out of frame. Down. Yeah. <laughs> I know you're not going to have that problem. I should not. Spike Cohen is leaning in. All right. What's your name? Where are you from? And why are you here today? My name is Spike Cohen. Uh, I'm from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina area. And I am running as Vermin Supreme's uh, vice presidential running mate. And you're the straight man in this equation? That's the frightening thing. I'm usually not. <laughs> so uh, Vermin's sort of the 80% satire, 20% serious candidate. And I'm the, I guess, 80% serious, 20% satire candidate. But I'm very heavy on that 20%. So uh, yeah, no, I, I'm the, I guess, the straight man in that, in, the, in that Abbott and Costello. I guess we could call it that. So do you have to wear a boot that's like, if he's 80% satire, Small you have to wear like a quarter Small to your 20% so you need a quarter size boot? We talked about a boot themed yarmulke, <laughs> but then that felt a little pandery. And so we, we ended up not doing that uh, uh, because some people would feel like it was a pander and some would feel like it was kind of offensive. Uh, I would have liked it. I'm probably still going to get one, but I, you'll probably never see it. So. So you are making a, a serious run for the Libertarian Party nomination, but your pitch is fundamentally different. Can you sum that up? Like it, what you would say to the Libertarian Party, this is what we're doing, this is the appeal, this is why you should vote Vermin Cohen, or Supreme Cohen. Supreme, Supreme Cohen, right? Like that's, that's Supreme slash Cohen. Supreme Cohen. Or Ver we've actually <laughs> planned it that way, didn't you? Yeah, Supreme Cohen, exactly. This whole thing, his entire career has been so that we can run on a Supreme Cohen platform. That we actually say there's a battle between Supreme Cohen and Vermin Spike, and as the head Head of the Vermin Spike chair, uh, 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 part of the campaign, we will defeat Supreme Cohen. No, here, here's our pitch to the LP. The system's a joke. The chips are stopped against us, from the president to the vice president, down to the uh, FEC, to your state election boards, to all the way to the Commission on Presidential Debates. They're not going to treat us on equal footing. And we've seen it time and time again. We've put up serious, respectable, candidates and uh, and they've been completely shut out from the process and so our pitch uh, not just to voters but also to eligible voters 46 percent of whom uh, do not vote is this entire system's a joke we're going to give them the funniest clowns possible and so and getting people's attention and doing that uh, that's our pitch is we're going to get people's attention in an unprecedented way and then once we actually have their attention now we can share libertarianism with them but we can't do that if we never get their attention in the first place so did you say that that's not just the, the central issue or the platform, but like that's the focus of the message in the campaign is the system's a joke. It's both. I mean, it, it, obviously our, our, our platform isn't to just say the system's a joke, but that is our, I guess, our strategy of, 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 of how we're going to promote the campaign and how we're... Perfect example of this. So uh, the New England College Convention uh, just had their uh, every, every election cycle they have uh, where they host all the presidential or many of the presidential uh, candidates. And they're always the big name Democrat and Republican candidates. Trump spoke there in 2016. This year it was uh, Tulsi Gabbard, uh, Tom Steyer, and I think Liz Warren. Uh, Vermin Supreme is not only the only libertarian candidate who was invited ever, he's the only third party candidate who's ever been invited. He goes there with his bullhorn, leads everyone in a chant of the alphabet, then leads them in singing along to an anthem that he comes up with on the spot and then leads them in this what do we want uh where do we want it ponies what are we gonna yeah and well and no one knew what the answer was so everyone's giving different answers then he goes well what are we gonna do when we get it and he had them all come and so they're all coming back into the room uh cheering them on and then for the last 10 15 minutes of it he starts talking to them about the libertarian platform the libertarian party encouraging them to to, to, to join it talking about what libertarian is libertarianism is and, uh, and, you know, that's, that's how we are approaching this. George Carlin, when he used to do uh, stand-up, uh, he would start with jokes, and about halfway to two-thirds in, he's barely giving any jokes. He'll throw in the occasional uh, punchline, but for the most part, he's just giving his anti-establishment message that he was giving, and that's what Vermin does. We, we, we lead you with satire. Once we have you in, we can talk to you seriously, but in a humorous way. And so that's, that's been our approach. You know, I... I haven't heard you mention free ponies yet, and I'm, I'm honestly a little disappointed. The longer this campaign goes, the more serious you get, the less I hear about free ponies. 
Well, I mean, at this point, everyone knows we're going to give you free ponies. Like, Every, all right. We're going to give, no, I mean, I, I would hope at this point we don't have to, like, retrench our, 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 our plan. I mean, we, we've, made, we've made the promise. There's four promises. And I actually have 10. Do you want to hear my 10 point platform? Hit it. First of all, uh, so everyone knows Vermin's four point platform free ponies, uh, uh, going back in time to kill baby Hitler, um, zombie power for everyone, and mandatory toothbrushing. Uh, because really, if you're not brushing your teeth, then how are we going to kill baby Hitler? Let's be frank. Uh, so I have, a, I have a, a plan that I've added to that called the Verbal Agreement for an Even Better America. And it's a 10-point platform that has been added to uh, Vermin's four-point platform, making it a 14-point platform. Adam, that is a... That's a lot of points. That's a 350% platform increase <laughs> in just such a short period of time that I've, I've come on. 350%, that's huge. Uh, this is a verbal contract between me and the American people, uh, and I promise that all of these things will happen within the first 100 days of our administration, or else I will resign and be replaced with Baby Yoda. Number one, we are going to eliminate all federal taxes, tariffs, and fees, and replace it with a lottery, where the winner gets to sign either the Constitution and or the face of the politician of their choice. <laughs> Imagine if Mitch McConnell, right? Mitch, yeah, no, Mitch, like it. Oh, it could be me. Oh, and it's, it's permanent, too. It's like tattoo. So imagine Mitch McConnell, you know, when he gets scared and that pouch comes out and it says, Adam, right? Uh, so that's, that's, the, uh, that's number one. Or, or freedom. I, I changed my name to freedom and just write freedom. Whatever you want on there. Number two, uh, of course, is to go back in time and also kill baby Woodrow Wilson, which ultimately makes killing baby Hitler unnecessary, but we're still going to do that because screw that guy. Number three uh, is uh, legalizing recreational plutonium. Uh, that's serious. Once the zombies are giving us the power that we need, what are we going to do? The question, next question, obviously, Adam, is what are we going to do with all this plutonium? And the answer is, whatever the hell you want. It's your body. Just stay away from me for the next 35,000 years. <laughs> Number four, of course, is free cheesy bread with the purchase of any federal explosives permit. And this is a common sense legis legislation. You know, I mean, in, 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 in theory, you should be able to get an explosive without having to get a permit. Duh. But we all know that it depends on what we can get through this obstructionist do-nothing Congress. And so, you know, in order to make a compromise, you know, Democrats... Cheesy like, bread. Cheesy bread, right? That makes sense. Number five, of course, is uh, developing bullets that instead of harming you, do helpful things like clear up headaches and relieve sinus congestion, thereby finally bending the cost curve on health care in this country once and for all. Number six, this is a fan favorite. All arresting officers, uh, when they arrest someone, must not only read them their Miranda rights, Catherine's going to like this one, not only read them their Miranda rights, but also sing the Barney theme song to them. And the suspect has to be released without charge if the uh, officer is unable to sing the entire song in key, in key, or at any other point, does not portray themselves as a convincing Barney. Now, I know what you're thinking. That means, obviously, he's going to have to be Barney the whole time. And that's correct. He's going to have to wear the outfit. He'll go, hey, get right back. Come back here. And the whole thing, right? So that's, I mean, again, this is a powerful civil liberties tool. Uh, what was that? What was that? Number six? Number seven, we're going to arm your pony, because everyone gets a free pony. We're going to arm them with 20 millimeter Vulcan cannons. Now, I've been asked if instead of a 20 millimeter Vulcan cannon, uh, we can do a 40 millimeter grenade launcher. And I'll see what I can do, but I don't want to be unrealistic in what I can promise. Okay, I mean, let's be, let's be clear here. Number eight, of course, is a Waffle House on every corner. This is, of course, a jobs program and a uh, 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 lowering the cost of foods program. Uh, I, am, uh, I, I have been accused of leveraging my position uh, in this campaign, and also as the head of the Libertarian Party Waffle House Caucus, uh, of creating uh, graft and cronyism for my caucus. That is a blatant lie, and, uh, and I, I resent that accusation. This is all about waffles. I really like waffles. Number nine, of course, is impeaching every member of the Supreme Court, replacing them with the janitor. His name is Reginald, and he will be our king. Uh, and then number 10 is, is just a badger. It's, well, it's, just a, it's literally just a badger. Well, Spike, you sound about as serious as a pony heart attack, so I got to ask the gotcha question for every campaign, because there is a chance here, you are proposing, there is a chance. that Vermin Supreme will be president, and you will be vice president, mm -hmm. and you will be one heartbeat away from being responsible for free ponies for every American yourself. This is putting on the ring of power. This is taking on the presidency of the United States. What makes you think you're special that you can take on this power and not be corrupted by it? I'm not the least bit special. Here is the reality of our message, because this is obvious satire. I hope, I hope that you realize this is obvious satire. I, if I meet you, I will give you cheesy bread. Other than that, I can't promise anything. Listen, I'm trying to my best, okay? I will do what I can do. Thank, I, I, I promise I will try. I will try to get you a 20 mil millimeter Vulcan cannon. I will definitely be able to get you cheesy bread, though. That I can promise you. Here's the thing. You own yourself. Because you own yourself, you own your body. 
Because you own your body, no one can tell you what to do with it, providing you're not harming anyone else's body. Because you own your body, you own your labor, so no one can make you do anything that you don't want to do. Because you own your labor, you own the product of your labor, that's your property, and no one should be able to take it from you. Anyone who asserts themselves as having the authority or the right to take from you against your will, without your consent, it should be rejected outright. And that includes even if they put on badges and, and write on sheets of paper and say, we're the government. And, and, and so because I signed it right here on this sheet of paper, you have to listen to me. That's all garbage. They're no different than any other common thief. The only difference is that they're more organized, but that doesn't make it okay. And so my actual message is that none of us, no offense, <laughs> none of us are, are, are fit to, to, uh, to, to rule over you. Or well, I'm not offended. That's my platform, no, too. Well, yeah. <laughs> no offense, but I agree with Adam here. No, I mean, none of us have the, should have that authority. And so what we're running on is an anarchist platform. But it's with the idea that we are treating the system like a joke, and it should become a joke that we laugh about because it existed in the past and can no longer harm us. So ultimately, that's what we're running for. There's that beautiful, serious 80%. <laughs> All right, Spike, what's your website? Any closing words? Uh, website spike2020.com. You may notice that this wasn't 80% serious, uh, <laughs> but, uh, but you know, usually when, when I do these talks and stuff, it's mostly serious stuff until someone asks me about the cheesy bread, because that is the, the, the cheesy bread and the Barney thing are the, are the two big ones that people ask about. No, spike2020.com for my vice presidential page, uh, vermintsupreme2020.com. Uh, if you'd like to join the team, if you'd like to donate, if you'd like to... Uh, just say hi to us, whatever you want to do, come, come join us on there. We're on every uh, social media platform as well, Vermin Supreme. Awesome, thank you, brother. Supreme, Ver Supreme Cohen 2020. <laughs> thank you, brother. <laughs> Adam versus the man is made possible by people who care about freedom, like our Patreon supporters whose monthly contributions get them perks and exclusive content. Find out how you can help by going to patreon.com slash Adam versus the man.